Hello guys, I am Devindu. In the previous video, we created our first React app with the help of Create React app. This Create React app provides us lots of files and folders. So in this video, we will discuss about the files and folder structure of the React. Before starting this video, I wanted to tell you there's another way to initialize our React app, and this is just about the create a new React app section, and it's called Add React to the website. So in this method, we need to follow some steps like this. But if you use this method to initialize our app, so you need to create this folder and file structure all of by your own. And it is not the actual optimum way to initialize any React app. So everybody prefers to initialize React app with the help of create React app. So if you get a brief idea about initializing React app, so let's talk about the folder structure of the React. The create react app gives us three folders and this is node modules public and src and if you see in the node modules it is actually a complex folder structure you can see there is folder and inside the folder there is also folder and some files the node modules folder actually saves all of the dependencies that we need to initialize our react app and by the mean of dependencies i am talking about the packages that we need to install or save in our system for initializing our react app after talking about node modules let's talk about package.json the package.json contains all of the information of our react app and you can see there's name section and your name of the react app is written here and also the version and there's a section called dependencies and these are the all of the dependencies that we need to initialize our react app and all of the dependencies are stored in the node module section this folder and files are actually a part of these dependencies and the dependencies can also have its own dependencies so the node module section become quite complex and complex we all know that starting a development server for react we write the command npm start and the npm start is just a allies name of this command react script start so whenever we type npm start so behind the scenes this command is executed so if i open a terminal and rewrite this script so i am rewrite this script to mkdir and just hello and this is the actual command for the creating a folder called hello so then i save this file and write npm start this will create a folder in this section so just to wait and just you can see this command actually runs this command behind the scenes and creating a new folder called hello so just change this to the previous command called react skip start and close the loop terminal just like start we have also build test and EJ, and we will see the use of this command later of this course and there's also some different types of things that we don't need to actually worry about so just keep this part the package log json is also similar to packages.json and but it is used for the production purpose if you know git then you will realize what is the git ignore file and what is readme.md file so if you don't know git thus don't need to worry about this a git ignore file and read if file are used for git and github so you can ignore this thing i am just deleting the hello folder it is not need to be there after that i would like to explain the public folder and the, in the public folder we have the index html file and this is the one and only index html file in our entire react application and these are actually the metadata of our website and there's attached actually the icon and this is here and the manifest.json and this is here and also this is the icon and if you can see this this is actually the react icon and in the below there's a very important div with the it of root our whole react application is actually rendered inside the div so this is actually a very important diff and we will know about this diff later in this video the robots.txt actually prevent the web crawler for crawling our website 
and here comes our most important part of our react application and this is the src folder in the src folder all of the react code or the javascript code is situated and if i go to the index.js and this is actually the entry point of our react and by this function react dom dot render we are actually rendering one component called app which we imported from this file and this is actual component we are importing dot slash is represent that this file is actually present in this directory in the same directory as the index.js is situated so this file is act this actually this component is actually the app.js component and this is the actual component we will discuss about component later but just see this is our actually component and the app.css is the css of this component and we can separate the css of index.css and app.css separately so we will discuss this later and app test.js is for the testing purpose we don't need it right now and also this is another thing we don't need this thing right now so by the summary the packages.json is have all the information of our file and all the list of dependencies that present in our file and the all of the dependencies are stored in the node modules folder and the public folder there is index html and this is the only html file that we get whenever we go any react application and this is the div which has the id of root and this root is actually accessed by the index.js file in the src folder and we are rendering our whole react app in the root folder sorry the root diff and we will discuss about the react dom dot render file more into the next video and the app.js is the actual the component of our react and this is just html looking syntax is not html this is called jsx we will discuss this later and that's all i think that's all for everything for the react application so if you still have any doubts regarding the folder structure and what is the purpose of this file and folder then please comment it down and i will reply those comments as soon as possible and kindly like this video and subscribe to my channel so see you in the next video bye bye